YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. We are doing my absolute favorite challenge today, the No Evidence Challenge. This is a challenge that keeps coming back because it is probably the most fun way to play Phasmophobia, in my opinion. And it just shows how great this game is designed, how well every ghost has been made, that every single ghost can be figured out without using any of the evidence items. Every single ghost has so many different little quirks and different hidden abilities, strengths, and weaknesses that even without playing the main part of the game, you can still, if you use all the knowledge you've learned, you can still figure out every single ghost, which is a ton of fun. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a marathon. We're gonna be playing a ton of no evidence runs, testing our skills, and I hope you join us for that. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. We got Emily Watts. We're on Tanglewood with a little bit of heavy rain, I think. Also, I thought... I, I, I haven't looked at my stats in a little while. Eight times revived. See, I almost die as much. That's because I don't ever play normal. I gotta do some normal games, too. Because I never... Like, uh, the last thing we did was the level 11,000 challenge where I... I just kept dying on 24 times difficulty that stuff was crazy uh i mean still the most deaths of the mimic that has changed recently cursed hunts triggered 182 deaths almost 80 hey still the fact that i only misidentified 96 while dying almost 80 times because if you die you also usually misidentify the ghost but anyway here we are uh we have all the evidence items as you can see now why do we have all the evidence items because with the custom difficulty we can set our evidences given by the ghost to zero so we can still use the evidence items in like as as like ways to detect the ghost or for the mimic for example you can look for ghost orbs the dots in the writing in the spirit box are completely useless but the emf can actually be really useful but the emf is actually my go-to item to find the ghost room because as most people that play this game for a while know uh the best way to find the ghost room is to just listen for the sounds that the ghosts make however sometimes the sounds that the ghosts make can be can be a little hard to like locate where they're coming from exactly and that's where the emf comes in i mean we got the we got the board might as well ask a question where the ghost is anyway then where are you okay you're not gonna listen to me you little shit where are you i said where are you Goodbye. I can't say goodbye. Okay, let me quickly fix my audio. I don't know what's going on. Where are you? Let's go. Uh oh. Goodbye. It's definitely. Uh oh. This ghost is gonna kill me. Don't come in the basement. I swear to God. This was a terrible idea. It's fast. Is the twins? Is the twins? Or like, it's not they fast enough. It's probably a Moroi. It's very quiet. It's definitely fast. Let's get the hell out of here. What does my sanity look like? I was in the basement for a little bit trying to fix my uh, audio issues. Uh, also, you can throw the remote around. I didn't even know you could do that. That was definitely a faster ghost than usual. So we're not even going to have to use a lot of the tricks here. Sometimes, I mean, this is a very important trick. If there's one trick, like, once you go... Oh, my God, my sanity. Once you go beyond, like... Uh, once you go beyond simple, like, uh, using smudge sticks, knowing where to hide, like, that, those are, like, the stuff you should learn first. But after that, it is, like, paramount that you learn how to, uh, listen to the ghost speed. Because some, one thing that could definitely save you so many headaches is if, when you hear a ghost and it's slightly faster or slower than usual, you go, like, okay, I know which ghost this is. And identifying that is, like, a really important, uh, really important important skill to learn okay we have the crucifix in there i'm gonna take a photo of the ghost uh i think we're just gonna get some hunts i'm gonna grab a smudge stick without a lighter i should probably not even do that because i'm gonna bait myself with the dying i'm my hunch is twins because it was definitely faster yeah we also had the bone right there uh definitely faster than usual bada bing bada boom nice bone are you gonna use the crucifix and you gave us a sign. I'm gonna bring one crucifix out here just in case, because I think I threw the other one on the bed. Yes, let's grab that one. Uh, now, I didn't get a cursed hunt there. It just hunted hunted early. Uh, I should place this all too. Or it hunted because I, I used the, the board, right? Okay, there, easy peasy. 
I'm gonna assume it's not the Wraith, because otherwise my whole theory would fall into the water, which it didn't. Okay, there we go. We got all the photos on that one. I would like to get the ghost photo. I could try to take it during a hunt. Um, I would also like to take the crucifix photos if I can, because those are worth a lot of money. Uh, now the twins can also, you, if it is, and it does end up being the twins, we can figure it out uh, using like the long range of the twins. Because the way that I often figure out the twins is just, uh, oh, nice. Uh -huh, we got the crucifix. It's just being in the ghost room and then all of a sudden you get like a bunch of uh, throws in like the nursery or something and you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you throwing in the nursery? Also nice. Uh, Nice crucifix usage, my friend. You're giving me a lot of photos. You can take the photo twice if you take it. Uh, but like if, if you find the crucifix that's like this, you can only take one photo. But if you take the crucifix photo like this, and then it uses it again, you can take two photos. You have to be quick though. All right, you want to give us a sign? You know what? I'm going to give you a chance to hunt me because I want to figure out if you're the... Oh, you turn off the breaker already? Well, let me just fill in that it is not a gin then, even though we already know it's not a gin. I'm not... Is it walking in the salt? I think it is. Okay, I'm going to turn on the breaker. You better not kill me right now. I'm going to be so mad. We're fine. Because, especially in multiplayer, what happens a lot in multiplayer, at least when I play it, which I tend to play pretty fast, like here we're already onto the ghost and we've only played for like, I mean, several minutes. Um, what happens a lot in multiplayer is that you get into like a, there's like a point of no return while playing a multiplayer game where you're just getting so chain hunted that you basically can't collect any more evidence. And then all of the heads, every, the whole party puts their heads together and they go like, what do you think it is? And then people just make a wild guess. In that situation, you could be the hero. You could be the one that goes like, well, knowing this, this, and this, and this, I am gonna, like, you're not gonna be able to figure out every single ghost <laughs> instantly, but a lot of the time, oh my God. It's insanely fast. It's a hauntu. What the hell is this? I gotta go. Ah! There's some, this is not the twins. It's like speeding up and down. It's doing real weird shit, man. You hear this? It's like going up and down. Also, I got the ghost photo. That was pretty neat. Look at that. <laughs> Two star, but that's fine. Um, okay, then. That was definitely something weird. I'm just going to take photos of the... I mean, I guess I could put a crucifix in there. Put a crucifix back in here. Take a photo of this footstep, this footstep. Ugh. But you scared the hell out of me. I'm going to grab a smudge stick. Okay, so this... What is happening right now? What in this case? We know the ghost is fast, right? So for the twins... You'd have to get several hunts. This sounds too fast for the twins, but the twins is definitely faster than a normal ghost, but the twins will also be sometimes slower than a normal ghost. It could also be a Raichu, because it was like really fast. Like this is really fast. I'm thinking Raichu, Hantu. It's not a Revenant because it's not like slow as well. Um, it could be Hantu. Uh, it could be Raichu, it could be Moroi. It couldn't be Dio, because we hit that one time. Uh, it maybe be a they i don't think so um so now we're gonna what do we want to test to rule out let me just cross off all the ghosts that it can't be just to make it a little bit more clear to what we're i could be a, it could be a mimic as well i should actually i should quickly grab the photo cam and look for orbs you know what we're gonna quickly see if it's orbs because that was acting very weird imagine it was two it was two different speedy ghosts in a row you can look for orbs right outside here. Be real. I mean, okay, it's it's a little bit too. There's too much rain on the window. I'm gonna leave this here. I don't see any orbs. Okay, so it's probably not a mimic. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm grabbing my smudge stick just in case. Um, what is my favorite ghost? Probably. I mean, the Thay is really cool. The Thay is also probably. I mean, it's not the one that kills me the most according to my stats. That's the mimic, which I feel is pretty fair. Um. So I was, I was finishing my... Did you turn off the breaker again? Okay, it did not turn off the breaker again. So now we can do a pretty good Hauntu test. Now, another way you could figure out if you're dealing with a Hauntu is try to loop it, which sometimes is a terrible idea. But if the ghost speeds up during a hunt by being in line of sight of you, 
haunt the, there's two ghosts that can't do that the hauntu and the they cannot speed up in line of sight of you so if you uh are you using this crucifix you are not using this crucifix i'm just gonna bring it out here um so if you get the ghost to speed up you can rule out those two ghosts now what i it definitely seemed fast even when i wasn't triggering like when i didn't have any equipment nearby which was the case because when I entered the house the first time, we didn't have any equipment near the ghost room and it was still faster. So it can't be a Raichu. That's off the table. It's probably not a... Maybe it's a Moroi? be kind of unexpected. All right, let me grab the... I should not. How the fuck do I get this out of the basement without being stupid? I'm going to trigger a hunt with this. Right, put it right over there. I'm just going to break it. Or should I just... Where are you? I said, where are you? Okay, here we go. <laughs> there you go, you little hantu. Okay, so it was indeed a hantu, which also explains why it turned off the breaker. Look at that. That's a hantu right there. Yeah, little baby. He's so slow. So this, you see how when I'm looping this ghost, it is not getting any faster. It's making a ruckus though. It's not getting any faster. Any ghost except this one and the Thay would be like so fast by this point of me looping it for a while that there was, there's no way I survive. Another way you can figure out the Hantu, which is why I was onto the Hantu in the last, uh, the last hunt was that, um, Sometimes there's only a few ghosts that can speed up and down during a hunt without seeing the player. Do I have to do anything? No, I don't have to do anything. I'm just gonna smudge you. Smudge you right at the end, and then I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Filling in Hantu, getting my easy money because it's also not a mimic. There's only a few ghosts that can speed up and down during a hunt. Uh, the, the main, or like, I guess three. The Raichu, the Hantu, and the mimic. I guess the Revenant can also do it, but I mean like without any line of sight. The Raichu, Hantu, and the Mimic, or the, the Mimic becoming the Raichu and the Hantu, obviously, are the only ghosts that can speed up and down. All right, so there you go. We got all the photos. We did all the objectives. We figured out it was a Hantu. And that all in, like, that's, the re that's insane. Like, the fact that you can do this in, like, 11, 12, 13 minutes, it's like a normal game. <laughs> And you can still figure out the ghosts. Like, look at look at the amount of money you get now, too, because we're playing with the custom difficulty. I also actually get, like, a much higher multiplier. Like, almost as if I did two Nightmare Mode games in one run. Uh, in how long? How long was that? That was only 11 and a half minutes. And we figured out the ghosts like that. That is... That's, like, why I love this so much. It also feels so much more satisfying. Uh, it's and it's definitely one of those things. Like, I remember when I first... So let's hop into Willow, by the way. I remember when I first started doing a no evidence run, I thought this shit was impossible. It was back when no one had any idea what was going on in the game. Only DK was like the wizard of Phasmo who knew everything, obviously, because he made the game. But no one else actually knew what the hell was going on. We got Keith Baker, Paramic, Ghost, Photo, and Smudge Stick. Um, I'm just going to bring the basic stuff again. Um, I remember being like, what the hell? You can watch back my first, uh, because I have like a no evidence playlist. I think I still add my videos to that playlist if I do a no evidence run, but especially the first, the first videos are in that playlist, uh, where I'm just like, I don't know, man. We find it, like I'd spend like two hours trying no evidence runs and just failing every time because I suck and I didn't know like a lot of the things we know now. I wonder if I would watch those back if I could easily figure out what ghost I was dealing with. That would actually be kind of interesting. Like, retroactively figure out the ghost. Okay, well, I know that... Uh, <laughs> I know that because of the G Phasmo GeoGuessr video. I know exactly where the... Hi. What the fuck are you doing here? Did I not turn on... I did turn on the breaker. Excuse me! Oh. EMF2 as well. Because of the light switch? Did I turn on the light switch here? What's this EMF2 thing? And it threw this as well. Okay, very welcoming. Not a phantom, obviously, because we took a photo. So not a phantom. Also, we can say it's not a shade because I didn't... I used just the the mirror for one second, which meant I lost 7%. But I'm still at like 90% sanity, which means that the the they would ha or the shade would have like a... I don't know, a ba barely possible chance of actually giving us a ghost event, especially so far away from the ghost room. So yeah. Uh, can you give us a sign? You should be coming back to this room. That's the, the room, the, the plant and the shoes I was talking about, by the way, that was the ghost room. But oftentimes the ghost like roams right at the start of the mission for some reason. Uh, that could be. So let's say that it was something special. Uh, the ghost was far away from the ghost room, right? It was pretty far. 
However, what you do have to keep in mind is that ghost events teleport the ghost. Ghost events are a way that any ghost can teleport, even ghosts that don't actually have a teleport ability. However, if it was a teleport, that could be Wraith. Wraith has a teleport, an instant teleport. The Phantom has a roam teleport where it can just go like, I want to I wanna go to you, I'm going to find you, uh, and then it goes to a player. Uh, the Banshee has the same, that it can go to the target specifically, but when you're playing single player, obviously you're going to be the target. Um, it's doing... Oh, it's maybe in the shower? Let me quickly take a peek at the at the mirror again, because I'm, I'm a little suspicious of what's going on here. Are you still in the same room? You are still in the same room. Interesting. So it might be touching in large ranges. Like, for example, twins can sometimes feel like they're teleporting because they're doing ghost events in larger ranges than usual, which might make it feel like, wait a minute, something fishy is going on. But... First, let's rule out the main teleporter. The one that everyone knows can actually teleport, and usually people forget about the Phantom, the Banshee. Um, I guess those are the main one, and I guess the Mimic, but the Mimic is always gonna be on the table. So we're gonna take a uh, salt, or a uh, pile of salt. We need Paramec and a Smudge Stick as well. Uh, I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna take a Thermo, because we know we're not gonna get freezing, so we don't have to worry about that, and we can actually figure out what the Ghost Room is with the Thermo, which, the, go the thermo used to be the best item in the game by far to find the ghost room, but it has fallen off massively since they did some some tweaks to the way the temperature system in the game works. Also, I should have probably taken a pill, but anyway. Um, I don't think you're actually in there, are you? I mean, this is one thing. I mean, this is something that is very obvious in my brain, but it, it could... Oh, it touched, uh, it touched a keyboard. Interesting. Uh, this is something that, like, I'm so used to at this point. I don't really like think about it anymore, but in this case, do keep in mind that the ghost can touch in a radius around it, which that radius goes through walls. So if you get a lot of stuff to happen, like in this case, it touched the it touched the the shower head, right? It turned on the shower. It doesn't really mean anything because it's like literally right here. So if the ghost is like standing here, it can just touch the shower without any problem. So don't get too baited by that. I would like to place my salt. Um, that's something like very important, especially early on when finding the, when finding the ghost room, it's very important, uh, not to get too sidetracked by like, oh my god, it touched something, oh. Are you alright? Mm. What the hell is that light over there? Oh, it's the, you turn on that light, which means you're, ah! Oh! And there you go, it walked through the salt. This ghost is crazy. Might be an Oni. Nema 4. Uh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> that was so weird to close the door. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run out of here after I take this photo. Goodbye. Okay, this ghost is a little crazy. I'm out of here. My sanity is now gonna be a very important thing. It never really touched me, did it? Dude, that was like three ghost events in a row. That was crazy. What the heck? <laughs> dude. Okay, let's see. What What is my sanity looking like? My sanity is looking pretty bad, but not too, too bad, which definitely, if it is an Oni, your sanity... So the, the thing with Onis is really tricky. So Onis have... I don't know if it says it in the book. I think it does. Onis are much more active as people are nearby and will drain their sanity faster when manifesting. This means that when the ghost does a ghost event and it touches you, it, like, it walks towards you and it does, like... A uh, hey ghost like it it, it, it like does a, a sound when it hits you that's when it will drain your sanity if it just spawns in stands in the corner and sings it doesn't actually drop your sanity uh from from my testing and it, that doesn't apply to the oni ability so you often can get baited by that because you think like oh okay it's uh probably let me actually do this first before we go look for orbs uh it's probably not an oni because we didn't lose enough sanity don't get too too caught up in that make sure that you only look for the sanity drops when the ghost touches you like doing an air ball or doing something else i won't want to take pills right now because i actually want to get a hunt because the oni has another ability which is the oni disappears less often while hunting their prey which is something i still am getting used to it's not a wraith because we get the footsteps by the way um, it could also be a Thay, in which case I'm gonna be in a little pain, so I should actually check for... Oni scan two airballs, I know, but I'm just, like, talking in, in... I'm talking in general. Airballs and walking ghost events are the only two that can drain your sanity. Any other ghost event can't drain your sanity. So you only have to look for sanity drops 
uh, for those. You only have to be careful for those. None of the others matter. Which is kind of weird. I feel like it's a bug. But it's been in the game since the very beginning, so I don't even know what the heck. Uh, can you give us a sign? Can you hunt me? I gotta get Paramike. And I just clench you with the smudge stick, but it will be fine. I, I checked for hiding spots and then I didn't find one. And I, okay, it's, there's one over there. Find the chair, which the chair has definitely betrayed me in the past, but I'm just gonna deal with it, I guess. I'm gonna turn on this light because oftentimes when you go into your hiding spot, you wanna be turning off your flashlight. Like you wanna turn off your flashlight before you get into the hiding spot. But that means that if the light is off in the room you're hiding in, sometimes you can get lost, right? Oh, here we go. It sounds a little... Hello? Hello? I want to see you. Okay, here we go. This is, it's definitely not an Oni, because you see these long blinks? It is blinking, like, very... so obvious that it's not an oni i don't know how i don't instantly realize that every time it stopped hunting let's go okay so it's not an oni surprisingly enough because the the blinking was much too infrequent um because that the... dude what the fuck is this ghost are you a yokai can i get another hunt please my good grief you're crazy that was that was a mare ghost event, but it doesn't have to be a mare. Any ghost can do that, but uh, mares are more likely to do that. I'm just gonna get another hunt before I before I take pills because I, I feel like we might be able to use to get some information out of hunts. So this is another thing that's very important. You gotta be able to like smudge. You gotta be able to get away from ghosts. Now the thing is, you often see this happen to me that I smudge the ghost, I run into an area, the ghost follows my exact movement and I still die. That is just the risk you take. But it is like an basically required reading of, of Phasmo. You have to figure out how to use smudge sticks. You can't just like, you can't go your life without smudge sticks. And that, that risk of the ghost following your exact movements while you smudge, that's just, that's just, that's just part of the job. It's part of the job description. Could you please hunt me a little shit? Your little baby. Yeah, Vade Retro Exorcist. That game looked pretty cool. I saw some clips of it. It's like a game where someone controls the demon. Uh, and you have to, like... You have to, like, kill NPCs to... Oh. Oh, God. Fuck me. It saw me! I can't hide behind this, right? I don't think I can. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to run now. Okay, so I wanted to do a yokai check, but I don't think that's gonna happen right now. I'm just gonna smudge and I'm gonna hide. Okay, we're fine. You don't betray me, chair. You've done it in the past. Don't betray me again. Don't you betray me! <laughs> so it could definitely still be a yokai because the yokai it might it just saw me during the hunt, right? But anyway, we smudged it now. So when you do your first smudge stick and you're still low sanity, it's often good to check for two different ghosts. It's good to check for demon and spirit. Demon is the opposite of spirit, where a demon will be very so every ghost, if you smudge the ghost, it'll give you 90 seconds of no hunts. The only ghosts that are different are the demon and the spirit. The demon will only give you 60 seconds of no hunts. And the spirit will give you three minutes of no hunt. So if you get a hunt super early after you after you smudged, you know, okay, wait a minute. It's not a... It, it's, it might be a demon. And if you get it way too late, you go like, okay, it might be a spirit. And then any other way, it's just normal. I might also check for... Is this going to be a good idea? This might be a terrible idea, but I'm still going to do it. I kind of want to check for Yokai again. What about Moroi is the same? What do you mean with Moroi? Moroi is a completely different ghost. Uh, oh, Moroi does has a, have a, has a smudge stick ability. Oh. And that's also how we could have figured out that it was not an Oni. But the airball ghost event, that cannot happen. This is actually kind of insane. Okay, so I don't think it's a demon, so I'm just gonna leap. Okay, it's not a yokai, and it's also faster. I'm gonna die here. What the fuck? Okay, this is an insane ghost. Maybe mimic or something? I'm dead as hell. Can I... Maybe it is a moron. 
That was not a good idea. I should not have turned on my flashlight. What the fuck was that? That was... It might be Mimic. I don't think that's fast enough for Moroi. Actually, it might be. It might be. I'm gonna go Moroi. That was crazy fast, dude. Why did it become so fast? Was it Mimic or Moroi? It was Mimic! I should've just gone with my first guess. You fucking bitch! <laughs> No! So yeah, there you go. That's why it felt like every single ghost in the book, because it was a mimic. And that right there is why this is the case. Most deaths through mimic. Because that ghost can mess with you so hard. And there, <laughs> that was just, like, I, I knew it was not fast before. So then I was like, okay, I'm totally fine just like memeing it up and and like having no smudge stick and doing a little spirit test. And then all of a sudden it goes like, how about I turn in, I turn into a Thay now and I'm going to eat your shit. Well, I don't think it was even a Thay. I think that was genuinely a Moro at that time. But yeah, anyway, there's no shame in that. You Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I'm going to go back on Willow though, because I think this is like the mass, mass map for no evidence. That was, a, that was just a perfect showcase of the power of the mimic, honestly. That's why I should have just brought in the... The video cam, because even on no evidence runs now, you can figure it out with a video cam. But hey, that's the thing. Uh, you, David William, go salt crucifix ghost event. You can, because that is kind of interesting. Because I did so many ghost events, like I only used the mirror two times, right? But my sanity was super low because of the many ghost events, and obviously I was being kind of cocky. I was not being like um, very safe, and I wasn't like using the smudge sticks or uh, getting another smudge stick. Um, Get eating sanity pills because I wanted to save time because often I mean, I guess we had the mirror so we could have been fine Just you that's me. Uh, we could have been fine just using uh, the sanity pills But still I want to I want to get as much out of my low sanity as possible because if there's one thing That you learn like with playing random difficulties uh, recently I have j Like realized how important the the curse possessions are to the gameplay now like the curse possessions are vital for playing Phasmo. Without it, there are so many times where you're just like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, how the hell am I gonna get a hunt now? Am I just gonna sit here, do absolutely nothing for like, <laughs> for 10 minutes? That's why cursed possessions are so important. And like, de like managing your sanity by sometimes having it low, sometimes having it high. Because obviously you can, you can make it so that you are never, there you go. You can make it so that you are never low sanity. You just hold a candle the whole game. But especially for something like a no sanity run, you're gonna not, like that's gonna make it impossible to figure out most of the ghosts because it's really, uh, like a lot of the ways you can figure out ghosts are based on their hunting behavior. Or at least, there's like two groups of ghosts. There's like groups, there's like a group of ghosts you can only figure out using their behavior. And then there's a group of ghosts you can only figure out using their hunting behavior. And sometimes there's a mix of both. Like, for example, the Banshee. Uh, I guess not necessarily the Banshee. Um, but the Hauntu can, like, turn off the breaker a lot. And it also has different speeds during a hunt. I'm gonna take in a video cam immediately this time. I'm not about to get fooled twice in a row. Fool me once. Shame on me. Or I don't know how the heck it worked. Or shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. I think that's how it goes. That's the one that makes the most sense, at least to me. Uh, so we should have probably taken a thermo as well. It, it, it touched it. Look at this. It touched this. There you go. So it's probably in the boy's bedroom again. It's like we're in a time loop. I don't know what the heck is going on. Okay, now we look for... Look for orbs. It's going to be two mimics in a row. It's stepping in the salt. It is. And it is floating. But it is not a wraith. Not a wraith. Uh, knocked on the window, which we can't check fingerprints. That's so. Please be another mimic. I'm gonna be. It is not a mimic. Not a mimic this time. At least, unless it's not here. Which I'm guessing it is. Okay, so we can rule out mimic. Because mimic will always have orbs. So you can just rule out mimic that way. Um. Nacho rats, or not nacho rats? Thank you for the five gift subs, thank you. Alright, can you give us a sign? You're much more quiet than your than your neighbor ghost. The the previous ghost was a was a crazy beast. Son of a bitch. Can I get some I'm just gonna take this. Can I get a both of these, baby? Take all the photos. Alright, let's get some more stuff. Um Oh boy. And Nelly, thank you for the prime. So the thing that's kind of interesting about Phasmo. Which I think is, especially in multiplayer, can be kind of good. Um, that the game kind of works in waves, right? In the start, 
Like, you can figure it out. You can figure out a ghost with just collecting evidence and getting all three evidences if you're playing on professional or lower. Um, but then on the other side, let me quickly grab a... So what are we going to go? Let me grab this and a candle. Let's just grab a candle just in case it's on Rio. Um, the game kind of works in waves that... Before you get a hunt, you're just like investigating the ghosts, figuring out the behavior. And then oftentimes, especially when on multiplayer, once the hunts start, they never stop. You can't stop the hunts because there's not enough sanity pills to go around, which I think is kind of something that makes multiplayer a little weird sometimes, where it's like, yeah, you can't really, sanity pills are kind of pointless in multiplayer. Um, but then you can sometimes figure out the ghost immediately. So you could, instead of, oh, it blew up the candle right away. Instead of going with the slow investigation first, you could rush to use the cursed possession, use the cursed possession, and then if it's a Dio or something, you don't spend a bunch of time doing an investigation for a ghost you could have already figured out instantly, right? So I'm gonna keep, do I have any hiding spots? Not the chair this time. I mean, you could still hide there, hide there. I'm gonna keep the candle lit for a while. The Onryo will have, if you have a candle in the room of the Onryo, it will, and it blows it out. It can then do an instant hunt, but it can only do this after three times of blowing out the candle naturally. It has to do it three times in a row. I don't have any hiding spot, man. What was my cursed possession again? Is it gonna be? Why are you? It's gotta be in the basement, right? Like a like a summoning circle. Blinky blinky lights. Can you give us a sign? Which my new favorite thing, my new favorite thing to do with the summoning circle. <sighs> Uh, is not to light it right away. It's actually to use it as a way to drop your sanity. Okay, that was kind of spooky. Um, if you light four candles and you don't light the last one, you drop like almost 80, like 70% sanity. Uh, I think if my math's correct. No, you lose. The, yeah, maybe. Like maybe exactly seven. No, something like seven, 65 or something. Whatever. It's close. Uh, so, or 64. Um, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take one crucifix. So what you can do is just light all those four candles and then just not light the last one. And then you have you drop your sanity down to, to low and you can start like figuring out the ghost during the hunt without having to deal with cursed hunts. And you also don't waste your um you also don't waste the summoning circle, right? Because you can only use it once. You can only use the summoning circle once. Okay, so I'm gonna put a crucifix right under the candle. That's one way to figure out the Onryo. And now I'm gonna go... I mean, I guess I'll still have a smudge stick down there because I am gonna be at risk. You know what? I don't even need the photo cam if I'm not gonna trigger the summoning circle right away. So let's light the four candles. Are you really not one of the Winchesters? I've been watching Supernatural. Boom. One, two, three, four, and not the last one. So now we are like at 20% sanity or something like that, 30%. Uh, and we can't get hunted, so we're going to keep our eye. Oh, it blew out the candle. That's the third time it blew it out, I think, maybe even the fourth time. So now the Onryo can use the candle to hunt. What we're looking for is, will it use the crucifix underneath the candle while the candle was still turned on? That's going to... Dude, that's sick. Sorry, I'm taking... Why did it not take more screenshots? My screenshot function... My... Aha! So it used the crucifix without blowing out the candle. I'm gonna take a photo of that. It doesn't give interaction, right? Wait, does it? Ah! Wait, is it faster? It sounds kind of faster. I almost don't know anymore. Because every ghost we've gotten is has been faster. So I'm kind of like, wait, is this just a normal speed? But it sounds kind of faster than usual. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just bamboozling myself. No, this is normal. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Let me uh, rule out Onryo, because it can't be that one. Let me rule out Haunter, because it can't be that one. It cannot be a Raichu, it cannot be a Dio, it cannot be a Thay. Maybe Thay? It cannot be Moroi, because it will be much faster, not a Revenant. Uh, we didn't take the ghost photo, so it could still be a Phantom. 
And it only did a ghost event once our sanity was really low, right? They did hunt when we were in the same room. Yes. <laughs> it is the twins! What the fuck? You see this difference? Now it's so much slower. So I wasn't crazy. Okay then. So that is the twins. It's subtle though. Like that's the subtle difference between the twins. This hunt, they're slower. It's mostly for the twins. I would definitely recommend getting multiple hunts because it's much easier to compare the twin to itself instead of trying to figure out is this 5% faster than or 10% faster than a normal ghost like that's a little harder than the 20% difference you can see you can hear between the two of them so well because it's not a it's not the mimic we saw no orbs i'm going to just leave with twins in the book um which we didn't really see any of the other twin behavior so that's kind of weird um it's kind of weird but i i'm oh I was hoping we would see it on the chart right there, but maybe we'll find a twin another time and we can pull it out then. Unless it was a mimic that had no orbs. Are we going to be fooled by mimics again? No mimic, please. Mimic with no orbs. Jake's bad. Thank you for the prime. There you go. It was the twins. Pretty 600, man. 600 experience. This is how it's done. I mean, I got to make some money back if I keep dying like this. You don't really... You get more, more experience than you get money. You get like twice as much. Uh, that was... How many abilities did you use? It did only two. So it did only two twin interactions. The twin interaction is right where the twin will like touch. Um, let's go to Edgefield. Will like touch a touch something. And then the decoy will touch something right after the, the, the main ghost touches something. Um, so you get like a boom, boom. You get like a in, in like one second, two things get touched. It's not at the exact same time, but it is very close together. Uh, also, we got Robert Everly, Salt, Ghost Photo, and Crucifix. Okie dokie. No music box this time, which the music box is definitely less... You have to kind of go Armageddon on that one. You either have to drop your sanity by just using the music, or you... Like, standing on top of it and listening to the song will drop your sanity, so you can use that to not trigger a cursed hunt. Or you can walk to the ghost room, get the ghost photo, but you also trigger a cursed hunt. Now, what can sometimes happen with the... Um, but the music box is that you get the hunt too fast so you didn't actually lose any sanity which means that then you have to wait for your sanity to get low so you don't really like you you don't get into chain hunt territory and it's obviously not reusable and you give us a sign I heard that that was downstairs that was a door I think or was it the house freaking it was surely a door alright are you in the hallway can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? I hope the ad knows. It's a demon. I'm dead as hell. Can I hide here? I can't! Okay, turning off my flashlight might have saved my life. Jesus! I think I lived. Holy fuck, turning off your flashlight. That's why gray spirits are so important. That's why I don't know why gray spirit is not rewarded more in the custom difficulty settings. Like, setting your gray spirit to zero seconds doesn't even give you that many rewards, but it is the most important thing you could put like it is the most important thing. I would have died there if that was a zero or zero gray spirit run because I had my equipment on. I was like, wait, is that a ghost event or a hunt? So just in case, I turned off my smudge stick or my smudge stick. I turned off my uh, EMF and my uh, flashlight. I hid away from the ghost, which I hid behind a door, which I wouldn't recommend because the door ghosts actually cheat. They look behind doors, so it's basically pointless. You might as well just close the door and go further to the back so that even if the ghost enters the room, the hunt might run out before it reaches the back of the room or you could like run around it or something crazy if you can somehow manage that. Uh, but yeah, now the only thing we have to do, that was obviously an early hunt, insane early hunt, a demon early hunt, 100%. All we have to know is was that a demon or was that a mimic? So we're gonna have to quickly check for orbs now. Um, hopefully not get hunted again. 
That was actually like the first time I've seen it. Oh. The first time I've seen the demon hunt since the new update where they said they made it more common, which that might tell you that even though they made it more common, it's definitely still rare, at least for me. Yeah, I don't see any orbs here. I'm gonna say that's a demon. That's pretty nuts, man. That's awesome. We've been finding some very, like, perfect ghosts that showcase their own behavior. The mimic was amazing, even though I died, which I... I fine. Uh, this demon was, like, <laughs> the perfect demon example. Where you're like, oh, that must be a ghost event. Because it's so early in the game, it can't be a demon. And what the fuck? <laughs> it's a demon. Oh my god! Where the fuck were the orbs, you piece of shit? I looked even. I went out of my way to make sure that you were not a mimic. And then you just put your orbs in a corner somewhere. Where the fuck were they? I even took my time and everything. <laughs> you garbage truck. This is I mean this is the the episode where I just get fucked by mimics, man. I just get absolutely played. What the heck? Are you kidding me? This is insanity. <laughs> mimic is genuinely like the best ghost in the game to fuck with high level people though. Cuz they're so annoying. Cuz the thing is that it's only a, it's like a 1 in 24 chance, right? What are the chances? that the ghost you just clearly found evidence for is actually a mimic. So you go like, nah. Okay, we actually found this hiding spot this time. So you just kind of ignore it. At least that's what I often do. So mimics are just like, mimics might be my my least identified ghost just because of that. Just because of me being like, ah, whatever. Even I took a photo, the ghost disappeared. I'm just gonna say phantom. If it's a mimic, I'll just take the L. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, I didn't see the orbs. I don't know where the ghost room was. I should have probably done like a, I mean, honestly, obviously I should have been like, okay, let's, let's grab the thermo, find the ghost room exactly. Then we're going to look for orbs. We're going to take our time. But I was just like, I don't want to be in there with a crazy demon that's going to murder me. Wait, was that the wrong door? No, it was the right door. Um, so yeah, I was just a little scared. I was just a little scared of demon. What do we got? We have arrow cards? No, we have. What the hell was that? Do we have a summoning circle? What does the ghost have died most to since you update the mimic? The mimic might be my most. The ghost that murders me the most, and the. Oh, it's gonna be bored then? And the ghost that I also misidentify the most. There was a music box, right? Wait, what? Did I just not see the music box? Wait, did I even. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyway, I found the music box. I'm not using that right away. Uh -huh. Dirty water. It's the best photo in the game. Dirty water, baby. That's how it's done. Look at that. All right, I'm going to grab some items. I'm going to grab the freaking so the video cam right now immediately because I am done with your garbage. I'm done with your bullshit. We grab this, we grab this, and we grab this. Every ghost of Mimic. Mimic is very naughty. Mr. Crimson, thank you for the prime. But then, so the reason why I never really, or I, I mean, I hate, I am like, oh my god, Mimic, you're such a piece of shit. But I never really get that salty against the Mimic. Like, the most, when I get the most salty, there's two things that make me incredibly salty. I guess multiple things. A lot of things. But, like, the first being, when I die to my smudge stick, like, using a smudge stick on the ghost... Also, it's hallway. Using a smudge stick on the ghost, and then it just follows your exact movement and you die. That might be the most infuriating thing in Phasmo, at least to me. Because it's just like, well, I guess I just fucking die. Like, there's nothing I did. And it just die. Um, but the other thing is like, I guess something like a Gorio roaming. Like, the Gorio... If a ghost has, like, no obvious stealth, it's just the Yure, the Gorio, the Obake, and it just... Like, I guess the Obake is a complete non-factor. You don't even know what the hell that is. But, like, a Gorio roaming or sitting in the ghost room for, like, a half an hour and never getting the Yure ability or holding a Paramic for 10 minutes, never getting a Banshee scream. Like, those things. And then being like, okay, so I'm gonna rule out this ghost because I just spent, like, the better part of 15 minutes 
figuring out if it was this specific ghost. I wasted all my time. It ends up not being that ghost. And then you leave the mission and it's just like, haha, surprise, it's actually that ghost, even though it didn't do any of the behavior of that ghost. That's like the most annoying to me. Uh, but like for Mimic, it's like, even though I lost, like even though I got the ghost wrong, I'm like, yeah, I got the ghost wrong. But the reason why I got it wrong is because I identified another ghost correctly. Like I figured out it was a demon. I just didn't correctly then check if it was actually a mimic. I still had, I still did like played well. <laughs> like you still used your brain. You just didn't use enough of your brain. I'm gonna grab a thermo now. Thermo and we're gonna grab a candle and a, oh, I can't grab this. Why is we're grabbing that? Can I put it back please? Thank you. Grab another this. But va deals, dude. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, if it's my f yeah, that's a good call. If that's a good <laughs> good way to put it, if it's my fault, I'm like okay, whatever. Uh, but if it's the game's fault, I'm like you piece of shit. <laughs> okay, so it is a hallway ghost. Oh, I'm gonna turn off this light. It closed the. Closet door, but I don't think you can do the Yurei ability on a closet door, so I don't think that's any evidence. Are you going to play the new Outlast game? Yes, I've signed up for the closed beta with CJ and Psycho. However, we might not get in, we don't know. Because it's a multiplayer game, right? That's why I, I want like, us all to sign up. Okay, so you're being uh, like a hallway ghost. The hallway ghost classic, El Clasico hallway ghost, which is probably the most annoying ghost in any small map. Okay, it's walking in the salt immediately. The perplexed one, thank you for the three. <laughs> oh! <gasps> I, that's actually fucking my heart is dead. Ow. That scared the shit out of me. I was just gonna pick up the. <laughs> pick up the fucking UV light, but instead I get a heart attack. God damn it. Okay, well, thank you, or whatever. It's not this. It's also probably not this. Let's take a look. Take a look at the... at our sanity right now. My goodness. That's why I love Phasmo. Alright, wait a minute! It's Oni. I didn't do anything to drop my sanity, and I've only been playing in this mission for, like... It's like Jin, Oni, Yure... Mimic, there's got to be something fishy with the sanity here. There, we were in here for very shortly, and our sanity dropped like crazy, which means what ghost can drop your sanity? The Yure will uh, drop your sanity sometimes by like, I, like it used to be 13%. I haven't had it since the last update, so I don't know if they buffed it, but they didn't put it in the patch notes, so if, I'm going to assume they didn't buff it, so I'm going to assume it's still 13%. So 13%, it will drop your sanity. And it'll close the door nearby. The gin will drop your sanity by 25% uh, randomly. You know what? Just in case, I'm going to take one pill. I'm going to put the EMF on the breaker. Hopefully we can hear that through the floor. I doubt it, but maybe. Because the gin will give a um, an EMF reading at the breaker when it uses its ability. However, especially on big maps, that's kind of completely useless. Because you can't be close enough to the ghost and the breaker to have the emf close by but maybe i can hear it through the floor i hope i don't know if i can do that but we're gonna see uh all right i'm gonna play some more more salts oh, this is salt 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 everywhere Uh, I need the bone still on the ghost photo. No, I already got the bone. Oof. Can you give us a sign? That's... It would be kind of cool if the shower became like blood shower when the ghost turned on the shower or something like Oh, good. Okay, it's definitely very angry. I'm going to grab the smudge stick now and hold on to it for dear fucking life. Um... Let's check again, right? Because that was a... If that is an Oni, that's what I talked about earlier. That's the thing you have to look out for when it's an Oni. Um, Did I drop from 75 to back to this? What was my sanity? I took like a pill when I was at around 40 or something. It might be an Oni. It definitely dropped. I took a pill. Um, 
I think that's Oni. So that's the the ghost event you're looking for to lo looking for when you want to test for Oni because the Oni will drop your sanity twice as much through those types of ghost events. So I think we're just gonna get a hunt now. We're just gonna let our sanity be low. Um, I have to check for a hiding spot though. Oh come on! I was just gonna say I have to check for a fucking hiding spot, man. Okay, let's look. Yeah, it's definitely an Oni. Look at this. Look at this blinking. It's almost visible all the time. Wait, is it? Oh, I think so. All right, I'm gonna smudge and get the. F oh no, it's following me. That is definitely different from the last time, right? Lisa model. It's like blinking. So the it's a little tough to like. I'm gonna do another hunt just to like see if I can get like and pick up on any like obvious tells. Uh, in before another fucking mimic. Yeah, if if you were gonna be that's the thing. There's two ways to figure out mimic. You can use the, um, like, you can use the video cam to check for orbs. If there's no orbs, it might be a mimic. Or, what is the last thing we have to do? Candle. Or you can, um, do I have a candle in here? Oh, yes. Um, or you can just get multiple hunts in a row to see if it keeps doing the same behavior. Like, if I get an obvious phantom, you can just keep getting hunts and see if it stays being a phantom. Because the mimic will change its ghost type, like, every few minutes. So, that's one way to figure it out pretty quickly. Alright, I'm just gonna use this and throw it on the ground. Because I want to get another hunt. Here we go, let's look for the... You see how it's basically just walking around? Like, you can just see it. Like, whereas most ghosts will, like, blink a ton, this ghost is mostly visible. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Ah! You only have to focus on one door, by the way. If you close one door and you hug that side, it, it will keep you safe. You don't have to close both the doors. Just make sure to close the one that's closest to you. Okay. So, yeah. That is definitely an Oni. It's... It's pretty subtle. Like, if you're not looking for this, I miss it all the time. Like, if you're not looking for the... Uh... For the Oni blinking, it's really easy to overlook it. Because the Phantom one, you will never overlook. Because it's just so like, wait, I can't see this fucking ghost. Okay, it must be a Phantom. Whereas for the Oni, it's like, well, I can see this ghost. And you don't go like... There's no, like, trigger in your brain that's like, wait a minute, this is annoying. It must be this. It's like, wait, this is very nice. So yeah, there you go. We got an Oni. Uh, I didn't get the candle, but whatever. Will I play the Ghostwatch new update? Probably at some point. What's my favorite curse possession? Tarot cards. Tarot cards. That's gotta be an Oni, right? No mimic again, please, for the love of God. There you go! There you go. 550 experience, and it was, in fact, an Oni. Now, it doesn't... It's not gonna say abilities used, no. It's not gonna say abilities used, which there... That's the one thing you need to sometimes be careful of. Don't focus on how many ghost events you get because that was 12 minutes two ghost events really not that much now with the ghost with the like sanity drain on the ghost events it is much like that is the best way to figure it out using the like when it does a ghost event that touches you and it drains your sanity by like 25 to 30 percent you can go like okay it's probably an oni all right let's go to grafton let's do i mean we might as well do all the small or like almost all the small maps we're we're going ham right now i'm having a great time um, everyone wants me to draw the hangman. That's how it goes all the time. All right, what do we got? We got Paul Clark, Paul Clark, uh, ghost photo salt and crucifix. Alrighty then. Reports of a cursed object. Thank you, my guy. I said it's not a mimic. Dude, three mimics in a row. I mean, it wasn't technically in a row, but close enough. Um... Not the tarot cards again. There will no there will be no hanged man today. No hanged man. No board. No breaker. Any plants that I'm gonna play Cyberpunk 2077 anytime soon? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't understand the question. Can you give us a sign? <laughs> we need hanged man emote all right i'm gonna stand up here you guys figure out the ghost one second am i 
dead? <clears throat> Dude, imagine another fucking demon. Alright, anyway, nothing happened. Will I play a backrooms game anytime soon? I did it yesterday. Hello. Can you give us a sign? Definitely a demon. I don't think so. The craziest thing is that the first demon ability I see on the new update isn't even a demon. <laughs> That's the worst part. You son of a bitch. Jessica, thank you for the two months. And Isabella, thank you for the three months. Okay, I don't know if it's up here. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go downstairs. Maybe we could just grab a, a thermal at this point. Did you guys hear anything? Uh, new update? No new update. I mean, they're, they're actually... So, they put that in the last patch notes. That they are working on... They're also working hard on 0 0.8. Like, the next update. During all these bug fixes. Because you know they've been doing a lot of bug fixes. Which is partly the fault um, of us finding a lot of bugs recently. When are you playing? Thank you for the $10 elevated message. Which I luckily saw. Even though it doesn't really work. So, uh, Ghost Exile update? Yeah, I saw. I got a ping today from the Ghost Exile. Aha! I got a... Before I go on this tangent, I saw the ping today from the Ghost Exile developer that they did like a new update. So I will. There's so many updates for the Ghost Hunting games that I have to check out. Every Ghost Hunting game has done like a. Has done a freaking. Uh huh. Has done a uh, Halloween update. So when you see a teddy bear like that, out of place, don't go like, that is the ghost room. Think instead, where are teddy bears? I should look for the places that they're coming from. Like right here, there's usually a teddy bear, which there still is. Right here in this crib, there's usually a teddy bear, which there still is. It threw something up here, which is very weird then. How did it throw something up here? Oh no, it probably threw something right as I was at the top of the stairs and it actually threw it in the twin bedroom. I'm gonna assume. That is one of those things because of the way they do the... They do the... Yeah, there you go. It threw this, which sounded like it was coming from right next to me, right? That was because the game considers, like, there's a very big difference between being upstairs and downstairs. And it only triggers once you're, like, at the very tippy top of the stairs. So that's why that sound was so weird. And it is actually this teddy bear that is gone. So there's usually a teddy bear here. This teddy bear is gone. That's how you can figure out the ghost using... Or the ghost room using teddy bears. Um... It's not where the teddy bear is, it's where the teddy bear came from. That's the ghost room. So let's look for orbs right away. No more, no more shenanigans. Uh, wait, Ghost Exile did a museum map? Or is that Ghost Watchers? I don't know. Jobo, thank you for the 10 months. No orbs. So it better not be a fucking mimic this time, I swear to god. You asshole, I'm gonna leave this, uh, and I'm gonna grab some salt. And then Records has also a new ghost. Man, every single ghost on the game has new ghosts. Maybe we'll do some- maybe we'll knock some out of the park tomorrow. Although there's also the Resident Evil DLC that I wanna play. Which comes out tomorrow? Or is it already out? I don't know. Because I freaking love that game when it came out. All right, we're going to grab this, this, and... Here, Mike. It's already out. came out today. All right, we're going to do that tomorrow then, probably. You get a chance to play it now, and then I'll... Oh! <gasps> Jesus! Dude, I'm getting fucked today by ghosts. They're terrifying. That's a really cool picture. <laughs> what the hell? The scare the the most scary ghost events are where they like show up right in your face and you're just not ready for them, man. <laughs> okay, let's take a photo of these uh of this pile of salt. Please be Wraith. No, I really wanted to show you the Wraith for once, but I guess not. Okay. Um but you're very evil. I get this. I get this. That was not a ghost event that'll drop my sanity. I am, however, gonna grab a smudge stick because I do not want to die. I do not want to die. That's why you always have to be ready. 
I am ready usually, but not when they're like right in my fucking face. Especially when I just enter the house, I'm like, okay. We're about to go to the ghost room. Like, I get scared the most when my brain is like going on a tangent when it's like thinking about stuff. It's like, I'm like drowned in my thoughts. I'm like, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And then all of a sudden there's a ghost in your face that's screaming and you're like, what the fuck? Motion sensor for the objective? Nope. The ghost events where it breathes in your ear are like the only ghost. <laughs> it moved that mannequin from there to there. Is this like twins? What the hell are you doing? You're touching stuff in such a large range, my guy. You're being very sus right now. It wasn't even that one. You got a perfectly good mannequin in your ghost room and you t decide to teleport the one next door. You want to keep this one, don't you, you little pervert? All right, give us a sign. Talk to me. It's 2.5 permanently in the ghost room. Little weird, one might say. What is causing this? Oh, it's gone. Blinky, blinky. Can you talk to me? Can you give us a sign? There's gonna be a ghost we can't figure out using any of the hunt skills, because it's been a... It's been a hunt. Oh. No! You piece of shit! I wanted to grab my photo cam. Oh wait, I had it right here. I should have grabbed this. Man, this goes a little active, huh? A little active. Can you give us a sign? That's one that can drop your sanity. I should probably look, although I forgot what my sanity was before I got the ghost event. Can you give us a sign? They should do. I'm an observation duty event. Oh, perfect. What the hell is my... There it is. Oh no, you're in there. You're such an asshole. That better fucking work, I, I'm telling you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> my harpy didn't go, but it still worked. Okay. Good. What the heck, man? Are you a banshee? You're singing all the time. That's what you gotta be careful for, too. It's a singing ghost? This might be a banshee. You wanna scream? So wait, now I could check my sanity, and if it's super low, it's gotta be a banshee. Because banshees are the only ghost that... Unless they just... I don't know why they just, like, flat-out fix the ghost events. Because the ghost events are so busted. Like, the fact that only the ghost events that, like, touch you drain your sanity. Um... That might be banshee. Because of this? What? How was my sanity? How long have I been on this run? I feel like not that long. And I'm this slow already? Mm -hmm. Let's just get a hunt. Let's get one hunt. Oh, you turn off the breaker? You think that's funny a little... Wait, did I even turn on the breaker? Yes, I did. It was over here, right? Yes. Like eight to ten minutes. I mean, I was in the light also quite a bit. So I feel like this is probably a banshee, which you can figure out... Either by the amount of singing ghost events or like the scream on the paramic, which I would love to get the scream on the paramic. Can you give us a s Ah! Okay, it's normal speed. We're gonna try and bait it over here. Okay, so it's not a yokai mode. Unless it is. Unless it is. Here it comes. Hi there, friend. I'm gonna stop hunting any time now. I'm not gonna smudge you, because I respect you. I respect you as a ghost. There you go. Um... Wait, you just threw something? Right here? As it stopped the hunt? I don't know. Okay. Um... So we need to... I mean, this kind of... I, that was kind of weird. That was kind of yokai-y. In no way that it didn't find me for so long, but let's please don't you do I gotta look for it's definitely not a Hantu, not a Mori, not a Dio, not a thing, not a blah 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 blah, not any of these. Not a revenant. All of the hunting ghosts are off the table now. We're actually gonna have to use the other way of figuring out ghosts, which is gonna be the um 
the uh, the passive abilities instead of the hunting abilities. Oh, I'm dead. Hi! Jesus Christ. Why are you guys spamming, by the way? It's speeding up during a hunt. Let's go. We were trying to have a conversation here, which doesn't consist of random letters. Uh, it's not a fan because we took the ghost photo. I didn't even feel that. It's not a wraith because we took the photo of the salt. Um, it could be Gorio because it's not really roaming at all. I mean, Mimic is impossible because I looked for ghost orbs, which I'm going to say or it's not that right now, you piece of shit. Um, it's not throwing enough for a poltergeist either. I'm going to say not demon. Yokai, I would have to just get another hunt, like where I actually stand in a room and see if it can find me. Okay, so we just smudged it. We can rule out spirit this way. I'm just going to grab a... Grab as much as goddess. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Why not demon? Because it's not hunting early enough. Like it, it got me all the way down to like zero percent sanity before it started hunting. Also, you know what I gotta do? Yeah, let's do it over here. I'm gonna sit right here with an EMF on top of me because I actually don't know if the banshee ability will trigger EMF or not. Like when it roams to you, because the banshee has the ability to roam to you. So I'm gonna sit on this EMF and also point the, the paramic at the ghost room. So we're looking for both the scream and the ability. Can you give us a sign? Hello? Your little sneak? Come on. The ghosts have been pretty smart today. It's like I'm going against level higher level ghosts than I am. They're level 12,000 ghosts. <laughs> Only phantom and wraith. Okay, wait, you know what? I got a plan. I'm gonna sit right over here. I'm gonna get, you come up the stairs and you find me or not. Come up the stairs, please. That's all I need. It's definitely not a spirit. Was that just fast enough for, oh, here we go. Hello? Okay, it is not a yokai. It is not a yokai. We can rule that out too. Probably not a shade, given that he did like fucking four ghost events in a row. So we really need that scream to come through here. That scream is gonna be like the way to figure out Banshee. It turned off the breaker, so it's not a gin, and it also isn't speeding up. You're right. Fun fan. Fantastic. Thank you for the five gifts. Thank you. I'm gonna take some pills. I'm gonna grab my sanity back. We're gonna actually get all the way up to 100% sanity so we can figure out how much the, the, the air or the singing ghost events are draining my sanity. It stalked me two times. Yeah, pretty, pretty aggressively. All right, I'm just trying to be a little bit away from the ghost and get the, the scream. I guess I could get closer now because I also want to get some... What the fuck? That was kind of... Dude, you are... I'm gonna dodge this one. You can dodge ghost events, like draining sanity of ghost events, by walking away from the ghost event. You saw the air ball. If you don't get touched by it, you don't drain any sanity. Man, this ghost is freaking wild. Is it still in here? Do I have my thermo anywhere? Um, I had a thermo in the ghost room, right? I'm just gonna drop this over here. in here put it somewhere deep into the room there it is and it never used the crucifix okay i think it moved ghost room okay it moved ghost room where's the ghost room now it's the living room it is living room okay living room is the new ghost room you're touching the store like no tomorrow i'm gonna take a photo i'm gonna take two photos you touch it twice right oh my God. what wait i still don't know what that means is that just a bug or is that like it did something that's not a regular door touch? Like, did it do a Yure ability right there? Can't you take a photo of a Yure ability? Like, I, I don't know. Because obviously, if it's a normal door touch, that was a bug. Because it should give you interaction even if there's no fingerprints. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand. Check my sanity. Yeah, we could see if my sanity is gone. If it's like a Yure. Because I've only been in the light. So 
So if I'm like significantly lower, that is very suspicious. Okay, no, it was not. Unless. I mean, I lost five. Nah, that's not enough. I mean, the Yurei is weak, but that weak. Chunky monkey, thank you for the three months. Okay, please just scream at me. I know you're a freaking banshee, my guy. And the demon ability be checked with EMF? I think probably, but you are going to be much better off checking it with the fact that you're getting hunted. Can you give us a sign? I'm going to drink some water. Valerie, thank you for the nine months. That's our baby. Okay, we got a footstep, so it is there. Did we get any whispers at all already? Did I change the demon ability? The demon now has the early hunt ability from the Banshee, which used to be a thing back in the day. Probably people don't even remember that anymore. Justice for the Banshee. And uh, it also has the Banshee Crucifix ability, where it'll be stopped by crucifixes in a much larger range than usual. Can you please talk to me? This is such a shitty, like, shape of a ghost room. Because I can't cover the whole room. Okay. You know what I could do? I could place salt underneath my feet and then stand right here to see if it roams to me. I could also grab a motion sensor for the same purpose. It Hello? It's giving permanent 2.6 over there. I mean, this is the thing. Obviously, the ghost... So, a, a lot of the ghosts you can figure out, like, instantly with 100% certain... Her certainty, or not... Not instantly with 100% certainty, but you can, like, figure them out. After you get, like, a hunt, you know with 100% certainty, okay, this is that ghost, or it's the mimic. That's usually how it goes. There are, however, quite a few ghosts that you can never truly know for certain that it is that ghost. Like, in this case, we're not getting any... Uh, Banshee scream, right? But we're getting whispers, which the more whispers you get, the least likely it is to be a Banshee because one of them should have been a scream. But I've gotten like four screams or four whispers in a row, and it still did not end up being a... Or it still did end up being a Banshee, even though it never did, did the scream. Sometimes you just get fucked over. I don't know if it is... I don't think it is, Mayor. It never turned on the light, but... All of the ghost abilities. Just the amount of singing ghost abilities was, or singing ghost events was really suspicious. How often have you gotten a banshee? The, the distribution of ghost types is like perfectly balanced. Like all of the ghosts will show up with an equal probability. Can the, the mimic can do anything that any other ghost can do. So yeah, the mimic can also do a banshee scream. Can you please yell at me? They really should make it more common. The fact that you can hold a, a paramic, like, it should totally happen in, like, on average once every, like, five to ten minutes. For sure. It's definitely not a shit. Shivery beat, thank you for the two months. Can you give us a sign? You have never gotten a banshee scream? The mimic... The mimic can mimic the mimic, the mimic can mimic the player. The mimic is just like they they there's like a few tricks they did internally to make it work uh it just can become any other entity in the game so it can even become a player in which case it will just be a it won't do anything like it's not like it sounds cool like what the fuck the mimic can become a player it just means that it'll be a blank ghost with no abilities it'll just be a player <laughs> in terms of that it doesn't have anything it can't do anything and in, if it turns into a mimic, it doesn't actually do any of the mimic abilities. It'll just, like, be itself and do nothing. Can you give us a sign? Like, please, for the love of God. I want to say Banshee so bad, but you're being such an asshole. Are you even here? You're right, kind of a shade right now. It does seem like it's here. Based on the temps. What do you think? Did you just yell at me? I should just... That's the thing. The the Banshee counts on you becoming impatient, I feel. Like, they count on you eventually being like, Ah, fuck this. I'm stopping the hold the paramic. And that's when they strike. That's when they're gonna go like, Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my scream. My mandatory 10-minute scream. And then I'm gonna hold out for the next 10 minutes again. Until you drop the paramic. And then I'm gonna go like, Ah! 
If we rule out they, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's swapped Ghost Room already once, which makes Gorio less likely, but you know it. You know how I am with the Gorios. Gorios fucking hate me. Um, get a footstep on the paramic. It's not roaming to me because it's not walking through that salt, right? I just want to get a fucking another whisper. I've gotten two whispers already. Can you give us a sign, please? Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? Can you talk to me? Please? Gorya will not give dots and no evidence runs, no. Can you give us a sign? Another footstep? Come on. I know you want to do it. At least, like, just keep whispering to me. It's not whispering enough for a... for a miling, even though we already kind of knew it wasn't a miling. Hello? Come on, man. Come on, ghosty pants. What if I, like, go... I mean, that's kind of fucking annoying. But now I just cover the whole room. Maybe like this better. I can't believe you, Banshee. If you're actually a Banshee, this is gonna be a good showcase at the end here. If this end is up being a Banshee, it shows you just how fucked up this is. This is, this is why I find the scream so unreliable. Because you can sometimes sit with a paramic in your hand for straight up 20 minutes, point it at the ghost room, you get like four whispers, you go like, okay, must not be a banshee, and it does end up being a banshee. It's just, it's just stupid. Like, it's just so unreliable. Those are the, this is, this might be one where I, I'm gonna get salty when we load out of the match. Because it's just another fucking footstep. This is just not doing the things that the ghost is supposed to be doing. It can't be a Yure. I mean, it can be a Yure, but it can't be a Yure. Like, reasonably. Because it hasn't done any ability at all. So I'm just going to be upset if it's a Yure, so I'm going to rule that out. I should bring in a crucif- I should bring in, like, the candles. Okay, I'm going to- One more scream, and then I'm going to drop the paramic and set up for an Onryo. If it's going to be, like, Obake or Goryo, it's just like, well, I guess I couldn't figure it out anyway. Maybe we should turn off the lights in case it's a, it's a mare. That's a good idea. And it could also turn on the light then. That would help us out. Come on. Obake would be like, that's the most impossible ghost because it doesn't, like, it doesn't have anything. Obake, I can't believe Obake is a ghost that they designed after the game launched. Which, that's pretty rude to say, but I stand by it. Obake is lackluster and I, I don't understand why they made this ghost it's the most boring ghost they have ever created because like yure is 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 super boring like yure is probably the the most boring ghost that they created uh in the base game but at least it's like an excuse that it was when they were just like filling out the roster first right most of it they were filling out the roster um for ghosts I'm waiting for the... Is it still here? Just making sure. Okay, it's definitely still there. Uh, they were filling out the roster initially, and the, some of the ghosts are simple, which still, I even don't mind the shade that much. Obviously, a shade is really annoying, but at least the shade is a shade, right? It usually doesn't do that many ghost events. pretty obvious. It can't hunt when you're in the same room, like all those things. I mean, they did kind of add some of that behavior later on. Like, shade used to be a lot more annoying than it is now. Um... But at least it had something going for it. Yure is so fucking boring. Uh, smudging the place of death will trap it temporarily, reducing how much it wanders, is possibly the most boring ability that the go that any ghost ever has. It is... Oh, no, no, no. An even stupider ability is the phantom's ability. Looking at a phantom will drop your sanity considerably faster. I think what this refers to is during a ghost event... It'll drain your sanity, like, 0.5% faster than usual. Which means that if you perfectly knew exactly what your sanity was at the start of a ghost event, and then you get the, a ghost event where it stands in the room and it just stands there the whole time, and you just sit there looking at it for the whole time, then you go to the truck and you see a 5% more sanity loss compared to what you would expect, then maybe you can... 
then maybe you can say it's it's a phantom obviously this doesn't matter that much because phantom has another really obvious tell the thing it does during the hunt and the photo which that means that's why phantom doesn't really matter to me that's why something like a ure is much more boring because the ure doesn't have anything else it's like i mean it has the sanity drain ability but that is just like so incredibly rare that it might as i mean it might as well exist but it is super super rare and this thing is just complete pointless because this is not even like you know what would be interesting it would be interesting if they th turned this around it would be so much more interesting if it would be if you smudge the yure it will leave the room you're in because then you could place motion sensors on the doors and you could smudge the ghost and then if it trips the motion sensors going outwards you go and you do it like one more time and it does it again you're like okay it might be a yure honestly Honestly, I just gave it to you on a silver platter. I just gave you a slight fix for the Yure on a silver platter. Just turn this ability around, being instead of locking it in the ghost room, driving it out of the ghost room is already so much more fun because at least you can figure it out with that. Because this doesn't do anything because any ghost could do this. Any ghost, when you smudge it, could just stay in the ghost room. That's not something you can use to figure out the ghost. So... And it used to be broken for so long, like it used to not even work at all. That's the thing with Yure's. Yure's used to be so broken, both of their abilities just didn't work. But no one knew because all of their abilities were just so fucking boring that no one had an idea. Okay. Definitely is being aggressive. Joe says, thank you for the five gifts. We're just waiting for this fucking screen to happen. Okay, it's stepping on the salt now. Um and I'm just ranting about ghosts. But yeah, as I was saying, Obake is possibly the most boring ghost, in my opinion, that they have added after release. I just don't understand what this ghost is. It has the, the strength, this ghost could be made, I mean, not the flame, like I know the devs work really hard, but this ghost could genuinely be made in like 10 minutes. <laughs> like all it does is when it touches a door, it has a 25% chance not to leave fingerprints. That's literally just a number. That's just like an, an integer somewhere or like a floating point number somewhere in the code. Like, that's nothing. And then the other thing is sometimes it will randomly reduce the length of the fingerprints on the map by 50%. Also just a number. I mean, a lot of the stuff in this game is just a number. So I guess that's not really that great of an argument. But it's also like barely noticeable, especially when you're doing a no evidence run. And then the other thing is literally just one extra finger. That's all it has. Like, this ghost could have been... Obake are terrifying shapeshifters capable of taking on many forms. They have been seen taking on humanoid shapes to attract their prey. Sounds so fucking epic. It does none of that. It does absolutely none of that. It's just complete. It's just fucking. It's like my YouTube titles. It's just clickbait. <laughs> it's just clickbait. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> It's just a slight self-roast in there. Can you give us a sign? I don't think this can be a Banshee. I take it back. It cannot be a Banshee. If this ends up being a Banshee, I can call the salt card. I can pull the salt card and be like, we stood in the ghost room with a paramic for fucking 20 minutes. It never did a scream. I'm done. Okay, anyway. So it's not a Banshee. I'm going to rule that out. So what do we do then? We're going to have to drop our sanity a little bit to check for Onryo. I also need to refine the ghost room. Because we need to rule out Onryo now. Okay, so it's still in this room. Touch me, touch me. Okay, perfect. We lost a little bit more sanity. I'm gonna bring in... It's been creepy. I'm gonna bring in some candles now. But you forgot the ability it roams to the target. Yeah, it never really roams to, roam to the target, though. Like, it did some ghost events, but I was standing right next to it. Okay, so we're gonna be bringing in this and bringing in both of these. Give it hunts above 50. It didn't. Oh, wait. I mean, we could just use the candle and the crucifix instead. Boom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And I need the... Please, I'm killing. I'm just trying to get the crucifix. And run. Get two crucifixes in your ghost room. There you go. Now I need to light these candles. Wait, didn't I put a... Oh, there it is. I was, I was like, I swear I put something there. You should really move that mannequin again. 
because it can do a ghost event like this is this is when i mean what i could do to figure out banshee which i guess i guess that will be another way to do it is, oh God. it's not done any singing ghost events for a while now another thing i could do is just stay away from the ghost for a while and then if it does uh like if it if it comes to me like when i'm up in the attic like that could you could also figure out if it's a, a banshee based on that oh my god you're an asshole hi i should be able to hide here with no problems okay so it hunted pretty close to that candle i think i'm gonna get another candle like all of the candles in there the crucifix is not doing anything. It's being rude right now. Yeah, the patch, uh, the drawers are patched. They did it literally the same day that I uploaded the video, which I'm glad they did because it was really fucking dumb. And it was apparently in the game from the very beginning. It's been in the game since day one. It's insane. Some of the bugs in this game are fucking nuts. That's why, that's why we do, we do great work. Just finding the bugs and showing them off is like so important. Cause sometimes bugs just never get found. More surprising it took that long for people to figure it out. You know, cue, the, oh my God. Cue the obligatory stupid idiot in the comments who just lies and goes like, Ha! You didn't know this? Oh man, I've been using this since day one. <laughs> Fucking eat ass, dude. Eat shit. Go bore someone else. Literally no one asked. Literally no one asked. Go lie to someone else. <laughs> Can you give us a sign? I've been using drawers for years, dude. <laughs> It's like, you don't get to have your cake and eat it too. Even if it was true, you don't get to claim ownership of a bug that you weren't the one to explain any, talk to anyone about. That's not how it works. You can't go like, I've been using it for literally two years and be cool. Like, oh my God, I'm so cool. I, I used this bug for this whole time. Even though you're the reason why no, like if that's true, you never told anyone. So you're like a piece of shit. Oh God. Turn off the fan, I will. Just give me a second. It's in a different room now. It's trying to roam away from the candles. This is maybe an Unreal. Do you actually invent the drawers? Synchro Salt, thank you for the prime. Okay. This is, I mean, it's hunting a lot now. Also, I should check my sanity. Ah! Jesus Christmas. Oh! It's the first breaking of the lights. It can't be a mare, right? Oh my god, my sanity is fucked. I don't think we can just hit tunnel vision off of one ghost event that it's a mare. And you give us a sign. And the light this candle. Please be in this ghost room. Please just stay here. I need you to use the crucifix while it's underneath the candle so I can rule out on Rio. You ass hat. Oh, it blew it up. This is still the ghost room. Yes. Okay, give us a sign. Come on. Okay, it's not an on Rio. You saw how it spawned right on top of the candle? It's not an on Rio. So we are literally left with the shittiest ghosts of all time. <laughs> we got Mayor Gorio Obake. Is it just a banshee? Is it just a broken banshee or what now? Gorio Obake Mayor. I don't, this is insane. It only roamed once. What we could do is like be like we could do the strat where we get like the banshee ability. Maybe we should do that. 
Well, we have to smudge it then. What we could do is get a get this, get a motion sensor, put it at a door. Okay, it's blowing out the candles left and right now. Maybe it is not. Like if I put a, uh, a motion sensor right here, and then I sit here, and then if the ghost trips it, it means it's roaming to me, like from downstairs. That would be one easy way to tell if it's a banshee, but turn on the on the all the lights is not gonna be as useful. I just can't believe it. if this is gonna end up being a banshee, I'm gonna become the Joker. I need the 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 paramic. So can it do? Can you get sounds through floors? Oh god. Okay, it's hunting. I want to smudge it this time. Come over here, you little shit. Piece of garbage. Okay, you better not find me now. I'm gonna be very sad. Can it be a mimic? We already looked for, for orbs a lot. It, I mean, it could just be Gor the Gorio by. I feel like we almost should just leave with Banshee just in case, because if it's Mare, Gorio, or Abake, we couldn't have figured it out anyway. Because those ghosts, like Mare, has a, like a tiny ability where if you flick a light switch, it can turn it off right away, but it just barely does that ever again, or it barely does that ever. It's very rare. Can you just scream at me? You are definitely not a demon. I can tell you that with these not using any- <gasps> It just turned on the light switch! It's not a bear! Let's go! Okay, that also helps. Let's go. Okay, so it's Gorio, Obake, or Banshee. Gorio, Obake, or Banshee. That's all we got. That's the combo. That's the possibility. It's being far away from the ghost room now, though. Oh, why is it in here? It did so many singing ghost events in a row at the start. And then it never did a single singing ghost event after the like first five minutes. So I guess we could we could just go with Obake, but it's weird. I mean Gorio, I kinda wanna just go with Gorio because it only changed its ghost room once, right? It's really not that roaming. Maybe it's not roaming enough for a Gorio or something. It I'm it's not a banshee. If this is a banshee, it did five different screams that were not the banshee scream i'm going to become the joker so it is just the impossible combination which here i don't feel bad getting it wrong it is the for no evidence at least this is an impossible combination you cannot figure these out based on any of the behavior the only thing that these ghosts have is that the gorio doesn't roam as much which in this case it only changed its favorite room once in like a 40 minute mission so i'm gonna say it's probably a Gorio, but it could just it's like literally like a 55 45 so i don't know and then it's still gonna end up being a fucking Gorio or something stupid anyway but yeah it should be fine i'm gonna or it's still gonna end up being like a what a shade or something out of nowhere or a yurei or a yurei that in this is the perf this is why I ranted about this ghost. How long was this game? How long was this game? Show me the fucking stats. 40 40 fucking minutes. How many abilities used? Fucking zero abilities used. Dude, this ghost might as well not do anything. 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Zero abilities? Are you kidding me? That's so bullshit. So that that's what I'm talking about. That's when I got salty, when it, when you can be with a ghost for 40 minutes. And that was right next to the ghost, because obviously the tons of ghost events. But even if you just, even 10 minutes just being in the ghost room, still nothing. Nothing. No abilities, no nothing. It's so dumb. I don't understand. So yeah, that is uh, Yure's. They're the like most annoying, boring ghost in my opinion. Obviously, if you get that ability, 
you can use it to figure out the ghost, but it just might as well not happen. But anyway, that was a really fun session, especially because I failed. I don't know. I actually found it more interesting having like a few really clever ghosts. Obviously, the last one. I mean, you can call it clever. I don't find that clever. I find the, the, the mimic was very clever twice in a row. Hiding its orbs was a little sneaky, but especially that that first one turning into a different ghost to try and kill me during that next hunt was very cool so yeah that was some very clever ghosts uh even when you're level 11,000, you're not safe uh from these types of ghosts if you play on zero evidence which is definitely a hard way to play but it is a really fun way to play so yeah i hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the love the game is here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m central UP. thank you very much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys bye bye have a good one bye guys